It's now 906 and the Lunar New Year begins tomorrow. This is a two week holiday celebration in China, in Korea, in Vietnam, Mongolia and other countries. And 2024 is the year of the dragon. A Vietnamese restaurant in St. Paul celebrating this weekend with a dragon dance and festival. Lauren and Drago is live this morning on Grand Avenue to learn more. Hi, Lauren. Good morning, Chris and Megan. I am at M. Quay Viet on Grand Avenue. There's so many great restaurants on this street and this is no exception. It is absolutely beautiful in here. I'm gonna have Bill show you some of the decorations because they are gearing up for the Lunar New Year. Like you said, the year of the dragon, it's going to be a lucky year. And I wanna introduce you to Maria. She's the owner here. Hi, good so morning. nice to be here with you. Nice, nice. Good morning, everybody. Um, you all look so beautiful. And before Thank we you. get to the outfits, tell me about the Lunar New Year and what we're celebrating each year. So in the Vietnamese culture, the uh, Lunar New Year is called Tet. And every year, this is uh, probably the biggest celebration for the Vietnamese culture. Yeah. And um, uh, families get together and celebrate. So this year, in the year of the dragon, um, people are going to be celebrating. And we're going to be celebrating here at M. Quay Vet. And uh, this uh, Saturday, please come and join us at 2 o'clock. We're going to be having a dragon dance. Oh, my gosh. And uh, giving away, uh, excuse me, this Sunday at 2 o'clock. And we're going to be uh, giving away red envelopes and uh, sticky rice and uh, there'll be dragon dances and drummings and food to eat so please join us what does the red envelope signify i've seen envelopes around yes. the lunar new year before and i'm not exactly sure what they yes. mean the red envelope symbolizes uh, uh, luck and so it's a tradition where um, uh, uh, generally the elders give it to the younger generation and uh, uh, inside is money and it's lucky money Ooh. and uh, people save it to spend that money on something that's very special so it's it. lucky and uh, the children love it because they get a lot of red envelopes and it's the time of the year they can um, have fun and celebrate and very fun so, tradition yes you are in beautiful red today and I want to introduce uh, your colleagues Vincent is the general manager yes. here Brianna is another owner here yes. you all look amazing at 9 a.m. tell Thank me you. a little bit about the traditions behind these outfits okay. so these outfits are called um, Ao Yai and it's the traditional Vietnamese dress and that is worn in the Vietnamese culture on very special occasions and uh, so the Lunar New Year Tet is very uh, um, the, probably the biggest celebration in the culture yeah and so we wear these dresses and it's uh, you want the dresses to be bright and uh, it celebrates lucky and so like uh, Brianna's dress is very bright the top is a dress the bottom is a pants oh, oh yeah. Brianna and uh, Vincent has one with uh, the dragon on it to represent the year of the dragon it's gorgeous and then mine is red because red is very lucky to wear on the day of the new year. Got so it. Like, okay, yeah. and we see a lot of the color red around during yeah. the lunar new year. Can you tell me a little bit more about the dragon? There's 12 zodi 12 different symbols, symbols. Uh, different animals, but the dragon's a lucky one, right? Yes, yes. The dragon is the, the only animal in the, um, the, the Chinese uh, zodiac that's a myth mythical creature. Sure. The other animals are... are, are are like cat, yeah. dog, and real. Yes. yes, and so the year of the dragon, um, uh, whatever the year is, traditionally people think that's going to be my lucky year, but it's actually the reverse. Oh, so like to the, uh, this year's year of the dragon. So the people that are born in that year, okay. it's actually bad luck for them. Uh oh. But there's ways where you can you can ward off that bad luck. Oh, okay, that's good. And one of the ways is to wear red undergarments, and. Um, so <laughs> I was yeah, not expecting yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> No, I love it. I think um, it's good to know if you were born in the year of the dragon, dragon. take that advice. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, basically uh, the year of, of the dragon, the dragon people are very lucky. Got it. Just generally very lucky people. Amazing. And uh, they have very lot of, lot of good fortune. You are a wealth yeah. of knowledge and we have so much more to Thank get you. to. Guys, I couldn't come to M. Quay Viet without eating. So in just a little bit, we are going to show you some of the traditional foods they eat during the Lunar New Year. And I'm going to make something and we're going to get some food in the studio for you too. Sweet. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> We'll Who see knew? you in just a little bit.